Hey all my YouTube subscribers and friends, we're here today and some of you have asked, well quite a few of you have asked, and quite a few actually, a lot more than I expected, asked about my lens cover on my snowmobile, they go over your snow on your headlight to black it out so it looks cool in the daylight though when you don't want it in the, in the at night time when you ride in the night you take it off so I'm gonna make one here for you guys because I need to make a new one the other one cracked and making the old process it was terrible the way I did it before so I'm making it even better so and this is for the 98 to or 96 to 98, 99 maybe, even 2000 that ran the body style. But it's for the S2000 chassis, when they had that square headlight, or even the 94s and down too would work for this too. So, yeah, the 94s, yeah, I think all the 90s, they don't make a lens cover, so you gotta make one. So, what you gotta do, is you gotta plexiglass, plexiglass piece and it doesn't look clear because it's got the covering on it yet so let me take it and I can't remember what the size of that is looks like 12 by 6 I'll be right back I'll measure it okay I'm back and it's 9 and 3 quarters long and four and four eighths four and four eighths so it's nine and three quarters yep, nine and three quarters and four and four and four eighths and then what I like to do is just outline that in a metal pen so you cut that out and you get little velcro pieces all right, and you gotta have the. You're gonna want the, the, soft. What would you explain it? The softer end, on the lens. Then you want the. The rough one. On. On this lens, and then you glue them right here, on each corner. And then you do the same on your headlight you take them and you glue them right on your headlight and I had this laying around so I probably would have picked white because it doesn't show up as much but I had this laying around so then yeah we'll take it to the the table saw and yeah make sure you do it the right way too so, so. we're at the table saw now and this may sound really weird to you guys, but you gotta run the blade backwards. So you run your plexiglass in backwards. Instead of this is the way you put wood in, you wanna run it backwards. Cause that just, cause it'll break the plastic if you go this way. Good tip to keep in mind. And that looks good. Oh. Make sure you use your what you call it? God, I can't even remember. Um, your fence. Keep that, and make sure you wear your safety glasses. The plexiglass can hurt the eye.
So now you have a straight line, even way across, both ways. So then you want to do that to the same side. Line your other side up. Turn it back around. Before you guys saw uh, two two layers of 35% tint, this time I'm going to do a single layer of 5% and see how that looks. And if I want to go darker, hey, I'll throw another piece of 5 on there. Or maybe I'll just throw a sheet of 35 on there. But we'll get to that process now. So everybody, we're going to tint our lens with our 5% to finish up our, our headlight lens. Yeah. So just get like a soapy, soapy water, don't have too much soap, which I think I have too much soap in this, but It should do. Now take your tint, lay it out. See, the slippery side is the liner, so this side's the liner. All right, so. It's Spray it, and I'm going to use this end, and have your squeegee. Squeegee everything out, and just take a razor blade. Hmm. Any use? Always use a brand new blade too. Hmm, see that cuts a lot better. Okay, you just put that over there. And if you see something wrong with my tinting, and some of you are good at tinting, which I am really good at tinting, I tinted my back window and there's no bubbles in it. So. Side. Squeegee all the water out. And do it the cheating way here. And this is good for you guys that don't know how to tint. To 
practice tinting. I know how to tint, but it's a little plexiglass pieces. Alright, so we're just gonna stick it on. Don't hit my tape. Get two pieces of tape. Usually you want to use scotch tape, but I didn't have any. So use masking tape. It just about had at that time. There it is. Then water it down as you're taking the liner off. That'll keep it from dust getting into it. I know you guys that are maybe tinters, I'm not doing this 100% correct, but this is just a lens cover. And you still want it to look good, but you don't have to be perfect of a job. Then start squeezing all your water out. Until you have all the water bubbles out. Oh, there's quite a bit left in mine. And I'll get rid of my hat. But sometimes you have to be right down next to it to see the bubbles still. It may look done, but it's really not. Then I like to take the heat gun and just heat it up a bit. And don't get it too hot. Alright. Have well, a better product if you don't have it too hot. Oh, that's pretty good. And then just cut along your edge. Mm 
and then go across your edge just to make sure you have all the pieces off Trim off the edges. And look at that. You got a nice looking piece. Other than the yellow here. I'll be able to get that off with a little PPC solvent or even with my finger. Look at that. Cool. There it is, you guys. And you just have to glue your little pieces on to your lens and here, your headlight and here. And then you just, and make sure your non-tinted side is facing out so the snow hits the, so this is the side I tinted. Don't have that facing out, have the other side because that will, it will just be less prevented for their tint to come off. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe.